Hey guys, this is Killerob speaking and today we are back in Motorsport Manager with Killerob Motors and Patrizio and Ramon. Oh yes, our new little driver is now the secondary driver and his fitness still isn't, isn't brilliant. It isn't brilliant. And, oh fuck, yeah that is actually without him having a certain trait that lowers it. He's just that much of a sloth. A a anyway, but marketing 87 and that means that this season we will have five star sponsors and the first one, very importantly, already comes next race. That is looking good and uh, our car, pretty decent chassis. Yes, we got the plus one in tire wear, always handy. And we are now somewhat in the midfield-ish, not really. Good on the brakes, good on the low speed corners, and pretty awesome in the rear wing. They are all clustered up there. We are currently improving all these parts in reliability and those are all the good parts from last season and we do have new brakes in the works if I remember correctly because our old ones were real shit compared to the new ones over a hundred points yeah that makes perfect sense and they're quick to build we can improve their reliability that should be decent enough even though we don't really need them here for the next race well it doesn't hurt right Everyone in my pit crew is set up nicely and they have 11 races left on a contract so mid-season I need to renew them so that I don't lose them and our crew is, uh, yeah, I mean, probably about as good as it gets. I do receive some bonus points here from, uh, I assume, my race mechanics who seem to be really good in this. That is uh, uh, Becky, who is like completely amazing. Let's see. Where where do I see the staff? Here we go. Becky, concentration 20. Yeah, but pit stops only 11. That's Scotty's thing, yes, 19. Exactly. And there we go. Yes, brakes finished. Uh, let's check them out. And uh, which ones do we want to put in here? Okay, so we do need to improve their reliability. They are only, oh, nice, 70. 78 percent and we do need to have the gearbox still in here um and whatnot ah yeah the the wing as well the engine this brake not necessarily the uh, suspension not necessarily the rear wing no nope, not necessarily so one more day of this and then all into the brake i would say also we need to build our next part and we only have 19 days left till the next race and that has a low speed corners and acceleration how about low speed corners then oh yeah that's a good part we can use just 15 reliability that doesn't slow us down so let's build that okay let's see what we got let's see what we got brakes oh nice they got up to 77 percent i was a little worried if we get the this one extra tick of 13 percent that is rather important um although switching up the brakes wouldn't be too much of a hassle i would say but uh, it's nice to see that they both are on point now so fitting the parts yes let's proceed with this patrizio is getting the better stuff so easy easy oh we gained 30 points over the other one that's a nice improvement on top so patrizio basically has the absolute best from last season at a reasonably high durability already and ramon has the uh, fifth placing winner's car from last season with um, somewhat questionable durability. In those cases I wonder like what what the fuck did they do with these parts over the winter? Did they just like leave them outside or something? <laughs> Let them rot? <laughs> because they had 100% durability or uh, reliability. Not anymore. <laughs> All right. 
10 4 above. I think that should be possible. We do have a race. That is. Oh. Okay, the medium tire wear one. Well, it's a two stopper, right? So, probably medium tires. Maybe. No, wait a second. No. Maybe. It's actually soft tires. It should last long enough here. Oh, yeah, let's. Oh. Uh, yeah, they do last long enough, but just, just barely. Uh, okay, he does have pretty high smoothness. Unfortunately, he doesn't improve anymore. 16 smoothness is not the best. Uh, he definitely is not an Amelia. So maybe we want to go with the mediums, but the pace difference is just so high. Well, if they don't last, we can always splash in medium tires in the last stint or something, or in, in a medium stint, uh, intermediate stint. Okay, yeah, let's focus on soft tires this time. Solid practice session. And I like to see our pace. It doesn't seem to be too far off, apart from the Nitro Ninja. Of course, the Nitro Ninja is here again. But the real test of pace, of course, is the qualifying. Yeah, I'm sure things will look a little different. So the problem here is, if we are actually going to race on soft tires, and we manage to conserve them long enough during the race, then we have one set of tires for the qualifying session. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's a little tight. Uh... Uh, I mean, 10 4 above should be possible. So, do I want to put all into all eggs into one basket? I think I will. So, just wait for ah, oh, maybe not for both. Uh, is it still time? Yeah, I think we still have time for that. Okay, I didn't wait too long because I didn't quite find the last lap didn't count for discovering the setup. A little bummed out there. So, I'm going to send them out on these twice. So you can go. I do want to discover the setup. I think this one should be accurate, but um, ugh, you never know. All right, while Ramon is waiting with the girls in the garage, I mean, it's eight minutes, right? That's plenty of time to do all kinds of things. Um, so, yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay, perfect and overheated. Oh, yeah, so far, so good. So far, so good. And he's through. And one second behind the Nitro Ninja. Just one second. Oh, interesting. So, that tells me that we have gained in this season 0.6 seconds, roughly. That is a massive gain in pace. Oh, well, that's good stuff. 0.6 seconds in a season. Yeah. Ah, oh, but he doesn't have enough time to do another lap. Wow. Okay, that this lap takes forever. Uh, seventh. It's decent enough. Okay, here we go. You are on your hot lap, Ramon. Show us how hot you are. Uh, no, not very. Not very. 0.6 seconds already after the first <laughs> the first sector. 1.4. Ouch. That one didn't go well. Yeah, that wasn't too too bad uh, for us in total. But look at that time differential. Maybe he just had a bad lap, but he's more like where we were last season. Oh, wait a second. No, oh, he has the car from last season. Ah, well, smart girl. <laughs> Rather than very dumb to notice this now. He's actually driving the car from last season. So, yes, we have gained 0.6 seconds in performance. Oh, no. Ah, oh, Patrizio has the push to the limit thing. And Ramon doesn't. But he would have good use for the push to the limit thing for this race. I don't think Patrizio actually needs it. But the refueling is always very, very nice. But that also means that Patrizio doesn't have favorite tires this race. That's good. So we can just run him what on whatever. Ah, oh, yeah, we basically nailed it um, after this. This uh, lackluster practice session for him. Good, good. That's good enough. 
Oh, by the way, the Nitro Ninja didn't take pole this time. Maybe they have... Oh, she's so good! It's just green everywhere. Jasmine. Um, yeah, maybe maybe they don't have the best car anymore. And the lights are on. Uh, 10 and 11 liters of fuel. And we start out on soft tires. There are a few mediums and hards in here. It's all good. Let's see how well Patrizio can... Oh, oh no, he got cock-blocked. Ah, oh, damn it. And now he's on the wrong lane. No, down to 10th. Oh my god, this is awful. Come on, accelerate. And no, I'm I'm not going to fully do that because, well, we only have 66% reliability. 80 here, I still don't want to push it. What kind of clusterfuck is this? What is the car density on this area? Well, now we're done 13th. How nice. But if, if, we just need a bit of rocket boost and we're in like 5th or something. Oh, wow. Patrizio took the outside in this big corner over here. In this one. And he dropped six places <laughs> in one corner. Oh, my God. And now he's, he's just letting them drive through. I really don't get what's going on here. What the fuck is going on? I I really don't get the AI here. It's it's just painful to watch what's going on. Okay, we fucking hell. What the? I game. Could you please tell me why he's in nineteenth? Twentieth. Uh, oh, face palming so hard it hurts. Yeah, he can just drive past them. Like, just drive past them. But he doesn't, for the most part. He just drove past three of them. Alright, now we're in 14th and 15th. Brilliant placement. And we're getting pretty close to the pit stops. Part conditions are holding up pretty well. Maybe at some point we need to fix the front wing. Engine is still okay. Gearbox is still okay. And pit stop is okay as well. Come on. Oh. Fucking up the very first pit stop in the fir in the season. Awesome, guys. Awesome. You're doing so well. Yeah. Part conditions are looking great. Uh, balance pit stop again. Please don't fuck it up again. And he can't overtake on on maximum settings. Fucking hell, come on. There we go, refueling done. And we are out in 16th. Oh, now we're in 10th. After a few pit stops of people on hard tires. Aren't they trying to to last the whole thing with a one-stopper or something? Nah, can't imagine. Oh my, and his parts are giving up too. He's in 20th already, so we can equally well just repair it. Um, yeah, fix the fucking engine, fix the fucking gearbox. Everything is fucked up for him, but it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Safe, no risk, we don't care. Come on. No repairs needed for Patrizio though, he's in ninth, so we might be grabbing a few points here. It's looking good, five second pit stop. And there we go, good, good, good. Massive repair bill here. But better repair it now than after the race, you know. Oh, that will save us a bit, bit of time, give us more time to actually improve. And he has to drive a lap less, because he has just been lapped. Perfect. And they will, I, yeah, I assume there will be quite a few repairs going on. 
So maybe Patrizio has a chance to grab them now. I've set the pit stop. Yes, I have. Good. And there we go. Yep, done. Tenth. And come on. Come on out. Yeah, he's still in tenth. But there are plenty of people in front of him who still need to pit. Ah, there's just so much distance to those guys, though. We're not going to catch them. Uh, eighth. Eighth is nice. Eighth is four points. Parts conditions are still looking decent enough. I think we can keep the the eighth on this one. We are we are not close enough to Tyler. That's a new driver, isn't it? Hey, Tyler. Yeah, aren't, aren't you? Oh, Udris. Oh, where's Woodford? Oh no, Woodford has been replaced by a, a blonde chick from Austria. It is oh oh nineteenth. We're no longer last. What the hell? What happened? Is there someone, someone maybe stinking, stinking out of the engine or something? And that is, by the way, something I'm missing here. Where are all the mechanical issues? Ah, there. Ni the Nitro Ninja has a mechanical issue. Oh no! Ah, why couldn't you let him lap you? Oh, maybe, maybe if we make it a little slower. Come on. Uh, do we have to then repair less? Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe it's happening automatically, but I can slow him down a little bit. I mean, first is right behind him. Come on, first. You can take us. Come on. Come on. Be good boy. Pass us already. Look, look. I'm waving my blue flag. It's this one. Argentina. Yay. Come on. Fucking slow are you. Uh, now I have to drive another lap. Okay, oh, ninth is coming close behind us with mechanical issues, but we hold it solidly. Okay, eighth it is. That, that, that was not too bad considering how terrible the first half of the race was. So, uh, it's it's alright. I mean, this track was was always a bit of a struggle, wasn't it? Our strategy wasn't wrong. I don't like this tire mixing thing going on when the others are doing. Uh, this should be more solid overall. Although, maybe they ran out of fast laps on those soft tires. Hmm, could be the case. Anyway, scrutineering, no one will have broken any rules because there are no, no parts that can break rules just yet. Or, not necessarily, actually. <laughs> actually, someone could have built a set of brakes with the um, plus one risk part. Four, po uh, four points. That is not too bad. But... Is this... That's fifth, I think. Uh, no, champion... Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Windsor Racing grabbed some points and... Mm. Okay. What? 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 This didn't go as planned. Cunt Kurt will be pissed. Just slightly. Yeah, that's, that was that was not so good. All that minus nine happiness. Oh fuck! And we lost marketability. Ouchies. Ouchies, ouchies. But it should still be enough. I hope it's still enough for the sponsors. We only lost 1.5 million. That's good news. Front wing is built, and the game is saving. And you know what that means. It means that I hope you enjoyed this um, rather mediocre first race of the new season with the new car. And I see you guys next time. <laughs>